Hello, Peter here from Woodrow Handcrafts in Gympie. And in this video I'm just going to give you a bit of a uh, rundown and we're going to have a bit of a play with the embroidery editor software that comes with your Genome MemoryCraft 500 e So this is the, the program where it will open up into, into your home tab. So home tab gives you hoop selection, designs, monogram and your data manager so you can write designs to the USB stick or you can use the file manager to transfer larger numbers of designs. In edit you've got copy and paste, delete, horizontal, vertical, mirrors, resize, rotate. Uh, a little bit of fun with the lettering, uh, recenter designs, cornering designs, uh, changing your sewing order. And up here in the left hand corner the circle, click on that you've got New design, open, existing designs, save, save as, print your um, templates if you'd like to. So the first thing we want to do is to select our hoop. So I'm going to use the 2020B. So just click on that one. Then we're going to find a design. So click on design. So this then opens up in your PC. So it gives you quick access to your desktop or your documents where a lot of people save their designs. Uh, design folder are uh, the built-in embroidery designs that are installed when you install the embroidery editor software. So they're built-in designs from your 500 e It doesn't install all of the designs onto the computer for you. It's just a handful of the designs. Uh, so don't worry about that if you go there and you can't find all the designs that are on your machine. Uh, then you've got your C drive, remo removable disk E, and my USB drive that I've already got plugged in but I'm going to use one of the built-ins so click on design uh, it's in favor favorite design and that's the one I want and just use your scroll on your mouse to go up and down and have a look at those those the one I want to do is soccer ball here so click on the soccer ball what we're going to do with this one we're going to put soccer rules around this I'm going to resize the soccer ball and I'm going to change the blue colour to a pink colour. So I know that I'm um, editing the soccer ball because you've got the green line around that one. That means that's the active design that we're editing. If I click off that you can see that designs that box has disappeared so I won't be editing anything. I'll click on, click on that so that's active. Go to edit, Resize, so I want to resize this, this up to 120% of its original size size. So I can use the up and down arrows here to re resize this or I can highlight that whole thing and type in 120, press enter and that will resize that up to 120. And you can resize down to 80% of the original as well. You've got rotate there, there which will, ro will rotate your design. You can go one degree at a time if you like. Or once again, you can type in the uh, number of degrees that you'd like to rotate that. The next thing we want to, I want to do here is click on colors, which will then give me the color, the uh, layers that. Are